Across Connecticut are struggling to stay open, heading into final exams in summer, and today two schools had to dismiss early. Apparently there are some problems getting teachers and even substitutes. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is joining us live right now in the Brass City where Kaner Tech dismissed earlier today. Right, Audrey? Mark, Aaron, that's right. Now, normally the parking lot at Caner Tech looks like this around 5 o'clock, but it looked like this pretty much at 11.15 this morning. Parents say that it's frustrating because they had to rearrange their whole day to come and pick up their kids. And even the students say it's frustrating because, you know, they showed up for school today when teachers really didn't. Like any juicy tidbit in a high school, it started with a rumor. First, my substitute teacher was like, there might be a half day, like we saw them talking like a group. But pretty early into the day at WF Caner Tech, students learned the gossip was true, and there was no mincing words about why the Waterbury campus was letting out early. And we got an announcement that was like, school's going to be dismissed at 11 due to a teacher shortage. A similar situation at AI Prince Tech in Hartford, where they dismissed at 12. A spokesperson for SeaTech Schools blames the disruption on, quote, a combination of staff illnesses, staff professional commitments outside of the school building, and pre-planned personal days. She was here at 7.20 and 11 o'clock, she's got to go home. Something has got to be done. But the frustration goes beyond families needing to scramble to pick up kids from essentially a free day of hooky. We go in for like specialized classes. Abby Sanciolo is a stylist. In addition to teaching cosmetology demos at SeaTech schools, she's also the product of one. How can you expect them to have any kind of ed proper education or relationships with teacher and administration when it's not consistent? The SeaTech system is looking for substitutes amid the shortage, paying $155 a day, according to their website. Candidates for academic subjects need a bachelor's and four years of work experience for trades. Qualifications students claim are lacking among current subs. And so we're in the midst of like getting ready for our tests and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's really important that you have like a teacher yeah. in the classroom because the subs don't know about the trade. They're just there to watch over us. Yeah. So today it was Kaner that all it took was a few teacher callouts to throw them over the edge into understaffed territory. Last week it was Cheney Tech in Manchester. And if you're watching this and you want to be part of the solution, well, the C Tech system is always looking for more substitutes. We've got a link for how you can apply on WFSB.com. Live in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.